Are you wondering how you can get the word out? Well, you've come to the right place. Because getting out is our name and word is our game. Please give a big hand to the Director of Communications with the Mostest. Here's Sherry. Hi, I'm Sherry DiGiovanna, Director of Communication at First Unitarian Universalist Church of Nashville, which we have affectionately branded as FUN. I want to thank you for being interested in a leadership role at FUN and talk to you today about communication. Hi, that was past me and this is me today. Just jumping in to let you know that we have a new website which I think you are going to really like. It's going to make your job as a leader a whole lot easier. For one, we have a new menu at the top and everything that you need is found in one place, in the community section. As you may or may not know, 97% of the people that visit our website are seekers. They're not members and friends yet. So we have designed the website in such a way that the primary spaces are for visitors. You'll see this main menu on the front. That's largely for seekers. So before we go there, I want to tell you about the home page. On the home page, I think you'll notice that the announcements are now organized by category. They are announcements, events, and engagement opportunities, which is your call for volunteers. That should help people find your announcements much easier. So how do those announcements get there? That's what we want to talk about. We're here as a communication team to help emphasize your announcements. Sort of like someone might wear a bright red lipstick to emphasize their lips. I want to show you where you can find information that will help you. It is now located all in the same place so it's easy for you to find. It's on the community page under leadership resources. So you click on the community tab or the community menu item and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see a purple for royalty, a purple colored section and that has all the leadership information that you'll need. Now that we have our Breeze member directory, which is accessed through a password, and we have an archive that houses all of our important documents, such as our bylaws, our policies and procedures, our budget reports, they're also accessed by a password. We no longer need to have a members-only area on the website. That makes your job easier. All you have to do is go to the community page and click on our archive and files button, and you can find anything that you're looking for. Happy hunting. If you click on communication responsibilities, you're gonna learn about one of the most important things about being a leader, communicating. So what, you have something to say? You wanna tell somebody something? That's awesome, you should have told me. Let me show you how to do that. If you click on how do I get the word out, we're gonna show you just how easy it is. We have lots of ways of communicating at FUN. We have digital signage in our social hall. We have a weekly bulletin that we print and pass out on Sunday mornings. We have a weekly email that goes out on Tuesdays. We have a bulletin board or two. We have flyers sometimes and we have social hall tables. So how do you manage all of that? Let me show you how easy it is. So this is what you'll see when you get to the Getting the Word Out page. It has a link to submit an announcement, but before we go there, take a look at this handy chart. It lists every publication, when it is published, what the deadlines for submission are, and how to submit it. And you'll notice that most of them are submitted with just one click on the Getting the Word Out form. And you can get to it from this chart. It is hyperlinked. So if you go to the Members area, you'll see Getting the Word Out, Submit an Announcement. If you click on that, you will get our Submitting an Announcement form. And all you have to do is fill this form out with your name, the committee that you're submitting for, your email and phone, and then you can indicate which publication you'd like your announcement to be seen in. Then all you have to do is submit the announcement, sit back, grab yourself the biggest mug of coffee you have time to have, and we'll take care of the rest. So remember, you're responsible for the content of the events or the information that's on the website that pertains to you. So be sure to let me know if there are changes. But you are also welcome to make the changes yourself. If you would like to learn how to do that, just email me at communication at firstunash.org.
Something else new is that we now have blogs, such as the Ministers, Social Justice, Committee for the Larger Faith, and the Chalice Fire blogs, which differ from three announcement categories I mentioned earlier, the announcements, events, and engagement opportunities, in that they're not as time sensitive. They're musings, testimonials, and in-depth information. We'd welcome blogs from other committees as well, so if you're interested in that, just contact me at communication at firstuunash.org. We also try to protect our members and we do not publish personal email addresses. So what we have are email aliases such as worship at the or beloved at the So if your committee, uh, each committee has one of these and it's your responsibility to let me know who is to receive the emails. The Communication Committee has also developed branding guidelines that we'd like you to be familiar with and to respect. You can find those on a PDF on the same website page, right here. And there's one more big thing I want to tell you about. And now our newsletter is bi-monthly. We publish it every other month and it covers two months. And it is different than it used to be in that it is much more in-depth. It's more t less time sensitive and more testimonies and stories and inspiration about the things that you're doing. So be sure to fill us in on the things that you're doing and you have two months to write it. It's still due on the 20th of the month, but it's the 20th of every other month. I can't wait to hear your stories. That's communication at fun. We have our digital media in the social hall. We have our weekly Sunday bulletin. We have our weekly email. We have a newsletter. Now, if you want to have skywriting or a blimp, all you have to do is increase your pledge and we'll make it happen.